Dear viewer, thank you for joining us again. In this video, we will dig deep into another pertinent topic. This has to do with takeoff and landings. Commercial aviation is one of the safest modes of transportation with strict safety standards, advanced technology and highly trained pilots working together to ensure a smooth journey. However, despite this impressive safety record, there are still phases of flight that are inherently riskier than others. Among these, takeoff and landing stand out as the most crucial parts of every flight. These phases require heightened attention from the flight crew, precise coordination between various systems and are subject to numerous environmental and mechanical variables that make them more complex than cruising at altitude. During takeoff and landing, pilots are required to manage numerous critical tasks in a condensed period of time. For takeoff, they must ensure that the aircraft is configured correctly, engines are functioning normally and the runway is clear and of sufficient length. Acceleration, rotation and climb must all occur in rapid succession and any issues that arise such as engine failure, bird strikes or sudden weather changes must be addressed within seconds. Landing is similarly demanding. As the aircraft descends, pilots must monitor altitude, airspeed, weather conditions and aircraft configuration. They must align the aircraft with the runway, manage descent rate and execute a safe touchdown. Even small miscalculations can lead to a hard landing, runway excursion or worse. The margin for error during these phases is far smaller than during cruise, where autopilot systems and stable atmospheric conditions usually dominate. Multiple studies and aviation safety reports have consistently shown that the majority of aviation accidents occur during takeoff and landing. According to data from the International Civil Aviation Organization and Boeing, about 49% of all aviation accidents occur during final approach and landing, while approximately 14% occur during takeoff and initial climb. In contrast, only around 10% of accidents happen during cruising, despite it being the longest phase of flight. This concentration of risk during takeoff and landing highlights just how critical these periods are to flight safety. Weather plays a significant role in complicating takeoff and landing. Conditions such as low visibility, heavy rain, snow, crosswinds, or wind shear can make controlling the aircraft far more difficult. For instance, landing in fog requires pilots to rely almost entirely on instruments increasing cognitive load and leaving little room for error. Similarly, a sudden gust of wind during takeoff can destabilize the aircraft at a vulnerable time, demanding immediate corrective action. And furthermore, airport infrastructure and terrain also influence these phases. Short runways, high altitude airports, or nearby obstacles like mountains or tall buildings add complexity to the already high-stakes process of lifting off or touching down. During takeoff and landing, aircraft systems operate at high capacity. Engines produce maximum thrust during takeoff, placing stress on mechanical components. Landing gear, flaps, slats and braking systems must function flawlessly to ensure a safe landing. Any mechanical failure during these phases, such as a tire burst, brake malfunction or flap failure, can rapidly evolve into an emergency situation. The aircraft's ability to recover from such events is limited by altitude and speed, both of which are low during takeoff and landing. Pilot decision making is also more critical during takeoff and landing. For example, the decision to abort takeoff must be made within seconds if an abnormality is detected. During landing, pilots must decide whether to proceed with the approach or execute a go-round if conditions are unsafe. These decisions are made under pressure, often in rapidly changing environments and require exceptional training and judgment. Crew resource management becomes especially important in these moments. Effective communication between the pilot, co-pilot and air traffic control can mean the difference between a safe landing and a catastrophic incident. In conclusion, takeoff and landing are the most crucial parts of every flight due to the high demands on pilot skill, 
system, performance, and environmental adaptation during these phases. The compressed time frames, complex decision-making requirements, and narrow safety margins contribute to their inherent risk. Understanding and respecting the importance of these flight segments is vital for everyone involved in aviation, from engineers and air traffic controllers to pilots and passengers. Through ongoing training, technological innovation and strict adherence to safety protocols, the aviation industry continues to mitigate the risk associated with takeoff and landing, ensuring that the most dangerous moments of flight are also the most expertly managed. Thanks for watching. Takeoff and landing are where precision meets pressure crucial moments every pilot trains hardest for. Subscribe for more deep dives into the skies. Stay curious, stay safe, and keep flying smarter with us. We would love to know your thoughts in the comment section of the video.